Good morning. I just want to talk about a couple of flashlights that I picked up. Okay. These are made by Blackhawk. My favorite. As you see, it's pretty small. Okay, it's about four inches. All right. Has a multi-faceted reflector here. Okay. Has a uh, rotating switch here. Okay. With uh, high medium low strobe and constant off okay. um, <clears throat> has a momentary constant recessed push button tail cap here okay now this flashlight right here for our smallest I'm, I'm really surprised um, it's a hundred and fifty lumens is high okay and turn to the right this is medium okay this right here is low okay this is the strobe right it's pretty lethal right and this is off okay you can push the uh, tail cap and it will not turn on okay the diameter okay the body here is 0 0.875 inches all right the uh bezel here okay is 1.135 inches okay like I mentioned before, it's about four inches. Okay. Now, this is how much this little guy weighs. All right. Now, um, with the batteries, okay, this thing weighs, okay, with the batteries and the uh, nifty uh, cord there, weighs 3.5 ounces. Now, let's take out the batteries, or the battery, okay, takes one uh, CR123 camera battery, okay, <clears throat> now, let's see how much it weighs without the battery and the cord. Weighs 2.9 ounces. Alright. The uh, run time on this slow guy is amazing. Um, it is 135 minutes. Okay. Now, I like the uh, tail cap right here. Okay. I like these spaces. Alright. So. <clears throat> If you manage to uh, break the cord here, okay, you can always put some paracord through that, all right, they're big enough, okay. <clears throat> See, the uh, bulb, okay, is a uh, Cree XPE, all right, um, it does have a... Uh, anti uh, roll thingy on it all right it's cool okay um it's drop resistant up to one meter all right um it is water resistant okay it's not waterproof but it is water resistant all right which is cool um the body okay uh well, actually the whole flashlight Right, the buzz on the body is made out of uh, really um, aluminum. Okay, pretty tough. All right, now <clears throat> this light here is weapon mountable. Okay, you uh, all you have to do 
for that is you got to take off the clip and the cord. Okay, now say, say that you want to mount it to a pistol. Okay, you can do that. Alright, I have a mount here. Okay, but it's a little bit too big for this light. Alright, so you got to go something else. Alright, I suggest a uh, scope ring. Alright, this is about one inch. Okay, but it's still a little bit too big, so I had to add a uh, little spacer here for it. Okay, and all you do for that is you just take your Allen wrench and remove the uh, bolts there. Okay, go ahead and put your flashlight there. All right. And go ahead and attach it to the bottom of your handgun, like so. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> now, you can also do the same thing with your uh, rifle or your shotgun. Alright, if it had the Picatinny rails. Okay. Um, you just use a, uh, I just use a uh, scope ring for that. You do the same thing, attach it. To the side of the uh, of my rifle works well, all right. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this flashlight. You know, I like it a lot. Um, I got it uh, from eBay at a really good deal, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. <clears throat> now the next flashlight that I bought is about to. And, uh, well, this, uh, light here is actually, uh, my second one, okay? Uh, the first one I lost, and I featured it in a uh, past video, um, it was, uh, the Black Hawk Battle Bag, and I showed it off, and I guess, because I did that, maybe, maybe not, um, I ended up losing it, so, I just bought it again, um, like I mentioned, I bought both flashlights at a really good price, so. Alright, now, this one right here is also a Black Hawk, okay. It's a really uh, nice, nice flashlight, simple, okay. Now, <clears throat> there's nothing too fancy about this light all right it says on and off that's it okay it's uh 65 lumens there you go all right on off that's it okay has a uh, rear push button tail cap now it isn't recess so you couldn't you know set it up on one end but uh it's pretty strong okay you can hear that that click okay now <clears throat> this flashlight here takes that oops <clears throat> takes uh, two uh, CR123 batteries right The uh, run time on this, uh, oops, the run time on this flashlight here is about one hour, okay. The uh, bulb is a Exxon, all right. Um, now, the length of this flashlight is about five inches, okay. All right. <clears throat> Uh, let's see the max diameter. Okay, uh, the body here is about uh, 1.25 inches. Okay, with the batteries, this thing weighs uh, 4.3 ounces. Right, and without the batteries, it weighs 3.1 ounces. Right <clears throat> now. <clears throat> This uh, flashlight here is also weapon mountable, okay, 
but not to a handgun. It's just just uh, too big for that. All right. Now it will mount to your rifle or your shotgun. Okay. And uh, with this flashlight right here, you could use either a scope ring, one inch scope ring, or a type of light mount here. That'll work too. Uh, with this mount, you got to remove the spacer. Just loosen these bolts here and slide the flashlight through there. Okay, go ahead and mount it to your uh, long gun. Pretty cool. Um, this right here is a uh, flashlight pouch by uh, Surefire. Okay. Uh, now, it does fit in here pretty good. Okay. And there is about two inches of space here. That's all right. Okay. Still fits pretty good. <clears throat> now, this flashlight here, the body is, is aluminum, or the inside of it is aluminum. The outside, I'm really not sure, it might be a type of polymer. Um, other than that, uh, it doesn't have anything on the tail cap for a lanyard. That's cool. Okay. Has a pretty nice uh, grip. Okay. So. Alright. There you go, YouTube. Two uh, of my favorite flashlights by Blackhawk. Okay. I'm a really big fan of Blackhawk. I think they have really good products. So, uh, I'll definitely be doing some business with them again. Alright. Well, you have a good one. Take care of yourself.